Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue, that is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, comments, or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head to my website, brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can purchase Longevity products off the websites, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. We'd love to have you on the team. We can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program together. You can make money, some a little bit of money or substantial money if you like, helping change the world with nutritional supplementation. Call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 for more info, 866-735-2470, or you can sign up for a one-time $25 fee right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And I also encourage you to check out our skin health products at truthtreatments.com, including our retinol 5% gel, made with 5% of the skin's most important, or at least one of the skin's most important active ingredients, vitamin A, along with a whole bunch of vitamin C, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, oil, silicon, or anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get to your calls at the bottom of the hour. We're talking about connective tissue. And I know we've been talking about it for a while, but for good reason, connective tissue makes up the, uh, a good chunk of the body. A quarter to a third of the body is connective tissue. The bone is connective tissue. Ligaments and tendons that connect the bones to each other and to the muscles, they are connective tissue. The cartilage that cushions the joints and the vertebrae and gives the nose and the ears flexibility is connective tissue. The brain is mostly a type of connective tissue. And the dense liquid crystal matrix called the fascia, yes, the fascia is a covering that penetrates every muscle, bone, nerve, artery, and vein in the body, as well as our internal organs, including the lungs and the heart and the spinal cord, are all unified by this liquid crystal substance, this highly electrical substance called fascia. The fascia forms a continuous material that exists from the top of our heads to the tips of our toes, and it is also a form of connective tissue. The fascia not only connects all the parts of our bodies together, it also, this is so fascinating, folks, it literally connects all of the cells of our body to each other. And via this fascia, all 100 trillion individual cellular components that make up our body are woven into a homogenous whole. The fascia is the part of the body that acupuncture works with, 
and via this electrical current that runs through the liquid crystal nature of the fascia, acupuncture can manipulate and create changes and adjust electrical currents to mitigate disease, to eliminate addiction, to reduce pain, and to literally change the activities of the cells. This is the science of acupuncture. Lest anyone think that this is not highly scientific stuff, via the fascia, via the electrical nature of the fascia, via the link between each cell in the body and the fascia, you have the scientific basis for healing the body or working with the body via acupuncture. And we're going to be talking a lot more about the fascia in the coming days as this substance is the key to understanding the science behind the biochemical healing powers of so-called alternative therapies, not just acupuncture, but massage, myofascial release, craniosacral integration, rolfing, as well as acupuncture. And then we come to the most important part, uh, most important type of connective tissue, the stuff that nourishes and feeds and oxygenates and detoxifies all the living components of the body, the cells. And it's this fascinating liquid, a liquid connective tissue called the blood. In fact, the blood is not just a type of connective tissue, but is actually the source of all the connective tissue in the body. Yes, the blood is the source of 25 to 30% of the body, literally via the activities of a very fascinating blood cell called the fibroblast. Now, fibroblast we mentioned periodically on this program. In my opinion, the fibroblast is the single most important cell in the body, arguably the most important cell in the body. The fibroblast is basically a fiber making factory. It's a little cell that makes all the fibers, but not just the fibers. It also makes the jelly substance. The, uh, between the jelly substance and the fibers like collagen and elastin, you have the connective tissue. The connective tissue is made up of fibers plus jelly substance. It all comes from the fibroblast. The fibroblast is a type of blood cell. Thus, via the activities of this blood cell called the fibroblast, the blood is the mother of the connective tissue. Yet another reason why you want to make sure you're not dealing with dirty blood, and yet another reason why dirty blood is the source of all disease. The blood is the mother of the connective tissue, 25% of the body. So the fibroblast, which is a type of blood cell, is the key player in the building of connective tissue, and thus it is the key player in the maintenance of the body structure. And this makes the fibroblast, as I say, in my opinion, the most important and functional cell in the body. Now, I've been doing skin care for 30 plus years, and in the world of skin care, the fibroblast is indisputably the king, and activation of the fibroblast is the most important of all skin anti-aging strategies. If your skin health product or skin health regimen, your topical skin health regimen is not featuring active ingredients that are uh, turning on or activating the fibroblast, you are missing the boat on anti-aging skin care. Now the problem is the fibroblast is located relatively deep in the skin and so you've got to have a formulation that can access these lower levels, the so-called dermis, which from a, a cellular standpoint is deep beneath the skin surface. The vast majority of skincare products work at the skin surface. They don't go down into the dermis. And that's why I developed my truth treatment products, by the way. In pharmacy school, we learn how to access the dermis. One of the things we learn as pharmacists is to drive material through the skin into the interior part of the body, usually into the blood when it comes to drugs. This is why you have progesterone cream, estrogen cream, scopolamine patches if you're going out on a cruise. Various skincare uh, uh, topical skin medicines leverage the skin as a route of administration into the body and pharmacists study this. We get two semesters of something called pharmaceutics. Well, the same kind of strategies for driving active ingredients or driving medicinal ingredients into the blood can be leveraged in topical skincare. Perhaps not to get into the blood, but to get to the dermis, to get to the lower levels of the skin. That's where I learned how to do it, and then I perfected the art in my compounding pharmacist as a compound pharmacist for over 30 years. Bottom line is, is you got to get into the dermis because that's where the fibroblasts are. Now, fibroblasts originate in the blood, as I said earlier, but they are mm, temporarily housed in the, in the dermis. They spend some, a good amount of time in the dermis. Bottom line is, is you got to be in the dermis if you're going to be turning on the production of connective tissue, and that means if you're going to be turning on the production of anti-wrinkle, anti-aging fibers. Of course, you know, if you've been listening to this program, there are two extra important, two super important ingredients you want in your topical skincare product because these are the only two ingredients in the world of skincare that can actually turn on the fibroblasts.
in the skin. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. We're back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. This is your Common Sense Nutritional Show, Nutritional Radio Program, where we break down the mythology surrounding nutrition and health and medicine, prescription drugs, make it easy to understand. If you like what you hear on the program, please tell your friends. 844-236-6010 is our phone number on the bright side. We'll get your calls here at the bottom of the hour. If you're interested in purchasing any of the any of our uh, Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our retinol 5% gel as well as our Truth Serum and Truth Balm and our Blemish Repair Complex, newly released. If you have acne or if you're dealing with, if you know somebody who's dealing with acne, Blemish Repair Complex is made with some really high-end premium nutritional uh, nutrients, in very high doses. That's the way I formulate, folks. I ain't messing around when I'm formulating. You shouldn't have to pay for silly trace amounts of window dressing types of ingredients, whether you're dealing with topical skin care or uh, internal nutritional supplements. Check out all our products at truthtreatments.com. Okay, let's see. Oh, if you want to, uh, I rec- uh, if you're interested in checking out some good nutritional information from another nutritional pharmacist, my friend Melissa Galladay, nutritional pharmacist from Arizona. She's going to be doing a talk. She does a talk every Tuesday evening along with Rebecca Kozak, uh, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm not sure what she's going to be talking about tomorrow. She has them every Tuesday. If you're interested, dial 1-408-638-0968 and then punch in meeting ID 579-044-9276. Okay, so in the world of skincare, as we were saying before we went to break, the fibroblast is king. Activation of the fibroblast is the most important of all anti-aging skin health strategies, and that's where vitamin A and vitamin C come in, and that's why I formulate with vitamin A and vitamin C in high concentrations and special forms that will allow the active ingredients, the vitamin A and vitamin C, to penetrate past the surface of the skin into the dermis. Vitamin A and vitamin C... Uh, with the fibroblast is the king of all cells, vitamin A and vitamin C are the king, kings, co-kings, if you will, of all topical skin health ingredients. And if you're not using vitamin A and vitamin C, vitamin A in its retinol form, or if you want to go out and deal with a prescription in its retinoic acid form, and vitamin C in its fat-soluble form, I don't know how else I could tell you this, folks, you're wasting your money, you're wasting your time, and any skin health professional or skin care product salesman who tells you different should be ashamed of themselves. Vitamin A and vitamin C are the kings and the most important two active ingredients for skin care, for anti-aging skin care, and there ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no argument. All right, as we get older, one of the things that happens one of the signs of the aging process is we start to get hard. We get fibrotic. We get hardened. We see this in animals as a, a function of their meat. Old birds, old sheep, old cattle will have tougher flesh than younger animals. The classic example of younger animals with very soft, tender flesh are veal and young hens. Interesting, by the, interestingly, by the way, an animal's stress levels prior to slaughter will also affect meat tenderness. Stress hormones lead to fibrosis, and it doesn't have to take very long. Stress hormones will lead to muscle contraction, and this is one of the most important influence, influences on the ultimate softness and the, uh, and the tenderness of beef, of meat in general. Research shows that when stress in slaughter, as well as transport, as well as the handling of animals is minimized, beef meat, as well as meat from deer and, uh, and sheep and chicken, is consistently more tender. In other words, an animal's body hardens when it's under stress. And this is one of the reasons we get harder as we get older. As we get older, our, our stress hormone levels go up. The accumulation of long years and uh, decades of stress start to accumulate. Fiber secretion, fibrosis increases as we get older. It's almost as if the body secretes this protective shell over us as we get under more and more stress to protect us from uh, impending doom or what it thinks is impending doom. The same phenomenon, as I say, occurs in the aging process, and aging is a major risk factor for fibrotic disease. According to an article published in the 
April 2014 edition of Science Translational Medicine, fibrosis contributes to an estimated 45% of deaths in the United States. That's nearly half of us who die are dying from at least, at least partially, a fibrotic condition. It seems like the aging process as well as stress levels, which biochemically duplicate the aging process, is a hardening process. And this is true about all the soft tissues of the body. It's true about all of the organs of the body. And it's particularly true of the lungs and the skin and the circulatory vessels. And it's particularly, particularly true about the blood itself. If you've had a heart attack or if your arteries are blocked, there are many non-medical strategies you can use depending on how significant the blockages are. Doctors love to do surgeries. They love to do bypasses. They love to prescribe statin drugs and pharmacological strategies. And it's not the doctor's fault. This is how they're trained. So don't blame your individual doctor. Blame the medical model. The medical model loves to cut and radiate and poison the body into submission. Now, if you're in your 50s or you're in your 60s or in your 70s and you've been indulging in sugar and bread and pasta and the, the, other, uh, the other poisons that represent the standard American diet, or if you've been living the standard American lifestyle, the sedentary lifestyle or smoking lifestyle, you may need to have a surgical procedure. You may need medical intervention. There are times when we need surgery. There are times when we need medical inter intervention, especially if we haven't been paying attention to our health for decades. You can't just say, if your arteries are completely clogged up, you can't just say, I'm going to go with a nutritional strategy, or at least you may not be able to say, I'm just going to go with a nutritional strategy. It might be too late for you. I don't know. On the other hand, you may not. You may be able to handle things with vitamin C and vitamin E and chelation therapy and essential fats and laying off of the sugar. And just because your doctor tells you something does not make it true. Again, not beating up on any individual medical professionals, but just because they tell you something doesn't mean it's correct, doesn't mean it's true, and doesn't mean you should be paying attention to it. We got to get this out of our heads that our doctors are infallible. Our doctors are not infallible and medical science is not infallible. In fact, it's far more of an art than a science. There's a really cool book called A Snowball in a Blizzard, which talks all about the uncertainty in medicine. And we got to begin to understand that there is a vast amount of uncertainty in medicine and m much of what passes as dogma and as truth is really just statistics or beliefs. In any case, if you're young and you want to prevent the problem from occurring in the first place, now you got some options and it has absolutely zero to do with eating less cholesterol. Your clogged arteries have zero, zippo, nada to do with the cholesterol you're eating, but it has everything to do with building and strengthening your connective tissue. Remember, cholesterol is patching up leaky, leaky blood vessels and the blood vessels are connective tissue. Basically, you get holes in the connective tissue from nutritional deficiencies, especially vitamin C deficiency, and the body patches up these vessels. And this is why nutritional supplementation can be so darn important. And because what we're talking about here between the blood vessel, uh, the strength of the blood vessels, the flexibility of the blood vessels, and the blood itself, what we're talking about here is building connective tissue. The same strategies that you employ for dealing with arthritis will help you with cardiovascular disease or prevent, help you prevent cardiovascular disease. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're coming back at you with more good health information right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. I want to invite you to join my friend, nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay, on her weekly phone call every Tuesday, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Dial 408-638-0968. That's 408-638-0968. Meeting ID 579-044. 9276. I also want to invite you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. And of course, if you're interested in purchasing any of our longevity products, you can head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And love to have you on the Brightside Ben team as well. If you want to start a business, if you're entrepreneurially minded, not everybody is, I understand this, but if you are entrepreneurially minded, it's hard to say. If you want to be an entrepreneur, and you want to start your own business, but you're intimidated by 
all of the hoops you got to jump through, and there are a lot of hoops. If you don't want to have to carry a lot of inventory, if you don't want to build up the infrastructure of building a business or starting a business, Longevity has done it for you. Call 844-236, I'm sorry, call 866-735-2470 if you want more information. Okay, let's see. Uh, from the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition, sleep deprivation may increase calorie intake. These findings are based on research at King's College in London. They reviewed a bunch of studies. A total, uh, they covered a total of 172 participants, and what they found was that if you don't get enough sleep, you tend to have the midnight munchies. A lot of this has to do, by the way, with cortisol, with the stress hormone cortisol, which is a, uh, an eating hormone. After we're under stress, we get a surge of blood sugar. It comes out of the liver. Then the body pulls that, that sugar out of the blood, and we get hungry. This is one of the major reasons why people can't lose weight. If you're trying to lose weight, if you have, uh, you've gone through calorie restriction, you're exercising, you've done all the things you're supposed to do to lose weight, but you just can't seem to lose weight, or if you've lost a bunch of weight and now you're plateaued and you can't lose any more weight, the chances are you're uh, pretty good. You're dealing with cortisol. This is especially true if you've had sleep deprivation or if you also have a problem sleeping, thus the importance of dealing with stress hormone. There was a, actually a, a nutritional supplement that came out a few years ago that hyped the idea of using nutrients for your cortisol to lose weight. And while that's not necessarily the best approach to take, in my opinion, because there are reasons why our stress hormones go up. It is still a good idea to use nutrients that help lower cortisol, particularly vitamin A and vitamin E, as well as nutrients that help your body process sugar, selenium and chromium and vanadium and the B-complex if you're dealing with too much cortisol and also if you're dealing with weight issues that you just can't seem to, to uh, 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 mitigate or you just can't seem to reduce your weight. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Carl the Truth Raider in Oregon. Good morning, Carl. How you doing, buddy? Happy holidays, Dr. Ben. Thank you for Thank having you. me on the show. What's going on? Okay. How, can I, how can I be of service to you? Well, just listen up real carefully here. Okay. I'd just like to take 10 to 15 seconds, if you may, okay. if you allow yes. me to. Yes. Do give a brief monologue and a commentary about things. Okay. We're entering the holiday season folks. What's more important than anything else? Our health, our relationships between our friends and family and acquaintances and coworkers. We want to do the best we can to be cohesive and be tolerant to, to each other, be good to each other. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing we can do virtually about what's going on in the global scheme of things. Would it be the new world order of conspiracies and what people were worrying about? You're eventually just going to run into a brick wall. I've had plenty of conversations with pharmacist Ben over the years, and he's been very good at talking to me about what's so important in life. We only have so much time on this world. We have at our, at our particular age, we, you know, we're in our 50s. We have maybe 20 or 30 good years. Don't waste it on worry. Worry is a big part and a key part of our health decline. We need not worry about things. So take care of your health. Take care of your friends close to your family. Stay together, because if we don't stay together, we'll fall apart, and they will win the divide and conquer scheme. Thank you, Carl the Truth Raider. When did you get so wise? That's awesome. That's awesome, Carl <laughs> so the I, Truth Raider. I, I hey, I got a, I got a full uh, board here. I got, a, I got to motivate Carl, but that was awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you sharing that. That was, that was good. I've been talking to Carl for a long time. And, uh, man, that was cool. Thank you, Carl. All right, let's go to uh, Richard in Florida. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side, Richard. Yes, thank you, Ben. Uh, first, I want to thank you for the information that you share with all of us. And uh, thank you. Give you a, Appreciate a little that. background. Um, about four years ago, I suffered a stroke, and uh, it affected my well due to a uncontrollable hypertension. And uh, a couple of things that happened. One was I. My right eye, the optic nerve of my right eye was, was damaged, so I lost some vision there. But the other thing I found out was that I'm, I'm now in a stage 3 kidney disease. And, okay. uh, I, and I know, listening to both you and Dr. Wallach, that a lot of times it's the circulation system that's, that needs to be addressed. And like you said, so many people get, you know, go on... Uh, uh, a dialysis and, and for kidney transplant, but a lot of times it says it's 
it's in circulation. So I just wondering what you can share with me to help maybe hopefully well, reverse it. Well, that's awesome. You really, you, you understood very well. That is exactly the case. Kidney disease is blood disease. The kidneys filter the blood. It's not a kidney per se, although the kidney gets damaged after a while. Right. The problem is in the circulation. This is so important. Nobody's telling us this, but it's quite obvious when you, when you think about it. The kidneys are made up of these tiny, microscopically small blood vessels that are wrapped around in this incredibly intricate fashion. And they're, it's very easy to damage these blood vessels. And once the blood becomes fibrotic and clogged, it's inevitable. This is why we have an epidemic of kidney disease is because we have an epidemic of dirty blood. So how do you improve right. the circulation, Richard? That's the key. That's, that's your key right there. Your key right. question, or, or that's the, the point of your question, is how do you improve the circulation? There's lots of ways to do it, okay? Number one, the blood will clot when there's not enough oxygen. So making sure you're breathing. And I know it sounds silly. It might even sound Pollyannish. It might even sound like it's just kind of petty, but it's not. Under conditions of low blood oxygen, the blood will clot. Now, certainly there's a lot of reasons why uh, the oxygenation of the blood becomes uh, impaired and oxygenation of tissues become impaired. It's not just breathing, but that can help a lot for several reasons. Number one, you're going to oxygenate. And number two, you're going to improve muscular movement of the lymph. As you breathe, the muscles in the lungs help put pressure on the lymph, and that drives fluid in the lymph. And if you're sick, you can rest assured you've got a clogged lymph, the lymph being part of the circulatory system. So number one, practicing slow, deep breathing. Number two, vasodilation techniques. Vaso meaning blood vessels, dilation meaning opening. Vasodilation or blood vessel opening techniques, the best one is hot water. In fact, heat will do it. Saunas will do it. I don't know if you've heard, you heard about the health benefits of saunas and dry saunas. And, you know, it's been periodically you'll read about it in the news. Uh, L. Ron Hubbard, the guy who started Scientology, he was really big on using uh, saunas to help, uh, to help folks deal with addictions and other stressors. The fact is, is that saunas, as well as heat and hot water, have a vasodilation effect. So making sure you're leveraging the power of heat, either in a sauna or a, 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 they do these things called sweats. They're, it's an American Indian religious technique, but it also can be helpful for opening up blood vessels. And of course, hot water, like immersion in hot water, hot tubs, as well as hot showers. Then there are wonderful nutritional strategies, vasodilatory, vasodilation, uh, blood vessel opening, nutritional strategies. Hang on, Richard. We've got to take a break. Uh, we'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis communication network will be back right after this all right we are back on the bright side i'm pharmacist ben 844-236-6010 is our number let's oh we're continuing with richard here uh kidney disease richard a couple more things i want to tell you about nutrition and vasodilation opening up the blood vessels improving circulation in addition to uh oxygenation hypoxia um also uh, you want to make sure that your uh I'm sorry, oxygenation alle alleviating hypoxia. You want to make sure that you're eliminating any, to any toxicity that's getting into the uh, blood through the intestine, i.e. leaky gut syndrome. That means use your food diary and elimination diet. Usually you'll find that there are digestive issues that are preceding all of these problems. Probiotics, the nightly essence, the ultimate enzymes. In fact, digestive enzymes can also thin the blood when taken on an empty stomach. Look for something called papain. P-A-P-A-I-N, or bromelain, or something that goes by the designation proteases. Of course, your ultimate enzymes will provide you with all of those. Uh, also, there's a really neat enzyme called natokinase, N-A-T-T-O-K-I-N-A-S-E. You'll find that in the nightly essence. Um, uh, the ultimate niacin is wonderful for vasodilation, keeping your sugar down, using the B-complex, uh, in addition to niacin, the entire B complex. And then uh, also vitamin C is very important. And then it, uh, you might also consider chelation therapy where, where they actually inject uh, substance into the blood uh, that can uh, magnetically attract substances that will thicken the blood or that will uh, cause a, a sclerosis or hardening of the vessels. So many, so many, so many strategies. Last but not least, make sure you're treating yourself like a diabetic. In fact, you probably are a diabetic. Uh, kidney disease and diabetics go hand, diabetes go hand in hand. Rich, I got so many calls here. I got a full board. I got to move. Is, is there anything else you want to add? Real quick, uh, bypassing the blood brain, blood brain barrier with nutrients, which ones will pass? Uh, you know, that's a great question. There are some that will pass. I don't know which ones will pass, actually, to tell you the truth. But I, I think all the vitamins will pass. Essential fatty acids will pass. 
uh, pretty much all the nutrients have to pass because the brain has to get nutriated. So your essential nutrients will pass. It's basically you're looking at toxins and drugs and those kinds of things that don't pass. Some of the bigger proteins might not pass either. But the basic nutrients, the brain needs them like any other part of the body. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's yes. got to get in Thank through the blood. Very... Okay, good. Thank you very much, Ben. Take care, Richard. Okay, bye-bye. All right, let's go to Daniel in Arizona. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side, Daniel. Yeah, um, I, I eat a mostly plant-based diet. I drink cocoa for vasodilation, although I know it can interfere with iron absorption up to 70% of the gut. I keep fat and sugar consumption low. I'm not overweight, though I do have some fat on me. Um, my situation is that I didn't know I was allergic to green tea when I started drinking about six to four ounces of it daily, but a week before I had a health event, the symptoms of which match those of congestive heart failure and stroke. Well, are you a doctor? Are you a physician? Or are you a medical professional, Daniel? No. Okay, well, you sound pretty well educated here. So you had a stroke, you said? Apparently. Um, so it's, it's, been, it's been a week, and I'm already feeling a lot better. I'm aware good. of doctors, not just... Huh? That's good. Are you, did you say you got diagnosed with heart failure also? Um, yeah, but, well, the thing is, yeah, I, ha I have to go and have an appointment. I'm, I'm trying to get an appointment at a free clinic. I don't have money, and I don't want to be involved with the access. Or, I mean, free, free, the um, Medicare or whatever. Um, so, but the symptoms that I have, pul pulmonary edema. Oh, I, dude, um, dude, dude, you huh? say no more. Say no more. Dan, you got a problem here. How old are you, buddy? Um, 34. Oh, you're D Daniel, my friend. Yeah. You're what, you, th these are the things that happen to you when you're 64. You're 30 years. Yeah, you're yeah. accelerating. This is not good. And, and, and all the stuff that you say you've been doing doesn't matter. You're doing something wrong, my friend. So here's yeah, the deal. I, I, and I don't, I don't mean to beat tea. you up. I don't want to beat yeah. you up here. I want to just tell I, you how to, how to deal with this. To green tea. No, 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 no. The body yeah. doesn't fall apart. Daniel, listen, bro. The body doesn't fall apart that dramatically because you're allergic to green tea. This is a major, major deterioration of your body. And if you think it's the green tea, well, good luck, because it isn't. If something's going I'm on, to it. well, yeah, I have, maybe so. I, I, by the way, I, I find that unlikely, too. But let's say you are allergic to it. It's a, it's a rare allergy. I'm allergic to it. I have and it, are you, Daniel, listen, listen, I gotta, you got to let me talk here because i got a bunch okay, of calls, sorry. okay? So listen, okay. are you trying to say that all of these issues are because you are allergic to green tea? Um, I started drinking it. Out of no, I, yes or no, yes or no. You got to work with me here, Daniel, because I got to go. I got to get a bunch of calls in. Okay. Are you saying the, this is an allergic reaction to green tea? No. Yes the or no. Allergic reaction led to the congestive heart failure and the stroke. Okay. Okay. So you got two ways we can go here. You can throw that out your out of your brain, and I'll tell you what to do. Or if you think that's what it is, there's nothing I can tell you because you're completely wrong. There's no way that that okay. kind of problem is no. going to happen from green tea. That, it's okay. up to you. I'm not so telling you know, what to do. Just but, let what, me know what your approach would be, please. Okay, this is my approach. You've got to figure out what the heck is getting into your system that's contaminating it on a regular chronic basis, not one-time basis. For the body More to break down, time. that's – hang on, Daniel. Listen, Sorry. my man, okay. I gotta, you got to let me talk. Okay, so you got to figure out what is the body, what is causing this major breakdown of the body at the age of 34, and it, more than likely it's going to be coming in through the digestive system, but it's going to be chronic, well, something you've been doing your whole life. For the, this kind of deterioration to occur, it has to be something that have, has been going on for decades and has been severe, and you've been missing major clues. So you want to fast for a couple of days, and then you want to start to do a food diary. I, I guarantee you, you're going to find some major stressors that are coming in through the digestive system, guarantee you constipation bloating heartburn any kind of digestive discomfort is going to be your major clues the next thing you want to do is you want to keep your blood sugar as stable as possible at your at, with this kind of breakdown you got to be having zero tolerance zippo you have a very small window here daniel for uh, anything that spikes your blood sugar or whacks out your insulin i would be doing major calorie restriction probably the ketogenic diet is in your favor uh, but if you don't want to go keto with the ketogenic diet at least keep your carbs your your refined sugars and carbs down to zero or as close to zero as you can the car only carbs i'm gonna i'm gonna let you go down i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to you over the air because daniel just wants to talk here but that's okay uh in addition to the sugar keeping your uh, refined sugars down you want to start using nutrients for uh make sure you're using nutrients for helping the body process sugar especially the b vitamins which are your energy vitamins your heart is in major distress uh, and for you to have a stroke at age 34 that means something is going wrong dramatically so the B vitamins are super helpful for energy. Uh, all of the B vitamins.
vitamins, but especially niacin, which is super important for the heart, and thiamine also. You may also want to try some vitamin B12 shots. I would be doing chelation therapy. Uh, last but not least, relaxing the sympathetic nervous system. Your body has got to be in major sympathetic overdrive. Oxygenation, massage, Reiki. There's so many things you could do, Daniel. If you think it's the green tea, though, uh, there's not much you could do. But but if you want, really want to get to the bottom of it, there are ton, there's tons of things you could do. If you're listening, Daniel, send an email to Ben at KSCO.com. Put your phone number in there, and I'll, I'm happy to work with you personally. All right, Bill in California, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Morning, Ben. Um, Good morning. I'm working with a young lady who's 20, and she weighs probably 110, 120 pounds, and she has acute intermittent porphyria mm. plus fibromyalgia, and her symptoms are... Uh, amazing. If you want me to read them. I can tell you all her symptoms because I know exactly what's happening. Porphyria is a liver problem. And uh, what was the other thing you said? Uh, You said something else. Fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is is an intestinal problem and the liver and the intestine are both digestive organs. So she's got a food problem. She's probably got uh, lousy periods. Uh, She's clogged lymph. She probably got fibrocystic breasts and endometriosis. And I mean... She's I, I know the I know the syndrome because it's a liver and intestinal problem, and it probably has something to do with her an inability to process estrogen. This is very very important, and we're going to be talking about it in the coming days. Estrogen metabolism occurs via the liver and the intestine, especially probiotics, uh, especially through the action of good bacteria, and also bile. So uh, usually a patient who's got these kinds of this kind of syndrome is going to be dealing with long-term digestive health problems. Do you know this lady well, uh, Bill? Uh, not real well, but I will pretty soon. Uh, okay. I hope someday she marries my son. But uh, Okay. All right. Well, um, she's got she's long-term, a, long-term she's also, digestive problems. She's also vegan. Okay. Well, that's not helping her because the, a lot of people react to, to a soy and, and carbs and grains and all the other foods and uh, all the other foods that comprise the vegan diet. It's very difficult to be a vegan and stay healthy. I mean, I'm not all about eating meat but, or, or animal products, but it's just very difficult. So she's got to get to the bottom of her intestinal and, and liver issues. First and foremost, you probably, if you've heard the program, you know what I'm going to say, mm-hmm. fasting and food diary and elimination diet. Okay. Get her on probiotics and fermented foods, the nightly essence and lots of fermented foods. These bacteria in the gut are critical for helping the body deal with estrogen. The less calories she eats, the easier it's going to be for her liver. The liver has to process sugar. It has to process fats. It stores all these things, proteins. The liver is a major digestive structure. So the less work her liver has to do, the better off she's going to be. Use the ultimate enzymes with all of her meals. She probably has an issue with fat. So every time she eats fatty foods, in addition to the ultimate enzymes, have her doing lecithin and apple cider vinegar. Uh, And then, of course, you want to also have her stabilizing the blood sugar and, and working with the parasympathetic nervous system. But most important, most, most important is working with the intestine and the liver, eliminating problem foods and using the good bacteria. Hope that helps, Bill. We're just flat out of time on the bright side. And that's just how it goes. Uh, We only get an hour on this program, but uh, appreciate you guys listening. Appreciate your calls. Appreciate all the love. And uh, if you're interested in learning more about the Longevity products or the Longevity business, you can call 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any any of our Truth Skin Health products, head to truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening, friends.